Sunday marked the 31st anniversary of the emergency crash landing of United Flight 232 at Sioux Gateway Airport. 111 people lost their lives on that tragic day back in 1989. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tim Seaman. Over the years since that crash, dozens of survivors have made a pilgrimage back to Sioux City. But it wasn't until this week that Israel Brownstein was able to coax himself back to where his life changed forever. KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Box sat down with him today and shares his memories for this first time. It's our top story tonight at 10. Tim Israel Brownstein was a nine-year-old boy flying along that day. He is one of 184 survivors of that tragedy. He told me during th this interview today, his trip back to Sioux City, he's honoring those who saved his life, visiting the public museum and 232 Memorial, where so much history that day remains. Being back here has been intense. It's really, really, really intense. And it doesn't change a thing for this Flight 232 survivor. Being here does not let me forget what occurred. The whole world saw what happened on July 19th, 1989. Israel lived it. He was headed for Philadelphia to see a friend when the unimaginable happened. We rolled 300 yards. That's why I was like buried in the rubble. And then uh, this guy came to pull us out. It just keeps like, just like, it's just, it haunts my life forever and ever and ever. And the man sitting next to him that day and a complete stranger, sacrificing his body to shield nine-year-old Israel. I get like angry. I was like, and it's horrible. Like, I'm angry. It's so crazy. I'm so angry. It's like, why me? That's what I feel like. It's like, like other survivors, Israel says he struggles with survivor's guilt being back where his life changed forever, perhaps providing more healing. To remember the captain and to keep his, his story alive. If you go to the museum, you just see this, his chair, his chair is like mangled up and, and so many people perish, like saving other people, you know. Though he struggles, over the memories of events that July afternoon, he says what Siouxland offered that day continues to provide relief and peace. Blood, sweat, and tears of the people that were on the plane and the people that were pulling us off, you know? All the people that were so kind to just drop everything and run and do whatever they could. It's amazing. Like, you cannot forget. You have to remember. Everybody. Today, Israel says he's paying it forward, helping Chicago's youth. He works with the Chicago Land Anti Suicide and Anti Overdose Mentoring Program. Raina Bach, KCAU 9 News.